What's up everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. Welcome to my kitchen. Guys, today we're going to make a honey, garlic, lemon, pepper, crispy chicken thighs in our oven. Listen, I know that's a mouthful, but it's gonna be a wonderful tasting mouthful. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this wonderful dish. You're gonna love it. A Little bit of time, a little bit of effort. We're gonna be eating well today, all right? All right, y'all, for the first thing we gotta do is get this chicken marinated. So I'm gonna take you through the process of that. We did this about four hours ago. You guys could do it four hours, two hours overnight. You wanna have your chicken have enough time to get a marinade in there. The marinade that we put together for this, it has a little bit of onion in it, a little ground onion, granulated onion, a little garlic powder, some lemon pepper, which is one of the stars of the show, and then some smoked paprika. And then we would put about a couple tablespoons of olive oil in there, mixed it all up. Guys, don't forget that there'll be specific measurements and a printable recipe on my website down below. Click the link, take you right there. You can print out this recipe, make it a little easier on yourselves, all right? So we, uh, we got these chickens marinated. We rub the spice paste on these chicken thighs. We got underneath the skin, got on the backside, got them all over. And again, we let them rest in the refrigerator for about four hours, all right? Again, you can take it overnight if you want, but this is what we did, four hours. These chickens are ready to go. Why don't you come take a look at these? This is after four hours of marinating in the fridge. We got a nice color on there. The flavors of this marinade have already you know, seeped through the skin, gotten into the meats. It's looking good. Now we're gonna get these in the oven. First thing we gotta get, or I can't keep saying the first thing we're doing. Next up, we gotta get that oven preheated. So we're gonna turn our oven on and hit the bake. We're gonna go 425, hit, hit the start twice for some reason. We're gonna let it come up the temperature in there. The next thing we gotta do is turn over the, the chicken thighs. We're gonna start the roasting process skin side down. And you'll see that about a half an hour into the cook, we're gonna go ahead and pull these out and then turn them back over, finish it off with another 20 minutes or so. And then we're gonna start adding our pan sauce to the top of them. And it's all just gonna come together at the right moment with just max flavor for sure. I know I keep saying that, but you can't just put so much of this in here and not understand that there is a lot of flavors going on. All right, so wait for this to get preheated, get these in the oven, and then we're gonna get on the stove and make that pan sauce. Stick around, y'all. Oven is done. You saw the temperature go exactly to 425, thanks to my cameraman over there. Got to hear the beeps, we're ready to go. Time to throw our wonderful, lovely chicken thighs in there. Again, we're gonna go for 30 minutes. All right, get those right in the middle. And we'll just shut it down, let it take a little heat nap. That's it. Once we get to that 30 minute mark and we go to flip these over, then I'm gonna take you over to the stove and we're gonna start that pan sauce. It's gonna take no time at all. It's gonna reduce a little bit and then we'll be able to glaze up these chicken thighs when they're done at the 50 minute mark. Got it? Stick around guys. All right, time to get the chicken out of the oven. We're gonna go ahead and give it a flip and get it back in. Come on. All right, we wanna give these a little flip. For the first part of the cook, we got the backside nice and cooked. Now what we're gonna do is get the skin nice and crispy. We get it right over the top. Another 20 minutes, this is gonna be good to go. I am gonna take my thermometer. I just wanna get a quick temp check on them. So again, you guys get yourself one of these cooking with CJ meat thermometers on my website. If you guys are temping out about 120 or so. We're gonna get them in there for another 20 minutes. Right when we get done at the 20 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and get our glaze on the chicken skin out here. Get it in there for a little bit longer, another five, 10 minutes to let everything kind of tighten up and get nice and tasty on these chicken thighs. Also, I know I'm using my, my uh, thermometer on this to you know check the temps as we go, but keep in mind, dark meat is very forgiving. So if we cook it a little bit more than the 165 you're, you're, you normally cook for, for chicken, it's okay. You know, I usually take my thighs, wings, legs, I take them to about 175 anyway. This is gonna be plenty juicy, plenty moist. You're gonna love them. All right, let's get these back in the oven to finish off, get that skin nice and crispy. Okay, team, we're over on the stove. We got my new Doll Strong pans over here. 
I'll throw a link down below. Make sure you check it out. Got some pans here. We're gonna go in with a little bit of butter to start. It's about two, three tablespoons, give or take. We'll let this melt down a little bit. I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit. You wanna go on a little medium, low, low to medium, medium to low. You know what I'm saying. Uh, get that melted. Then we're gonna add about a tablespoon of honey in there. Tablespoon of honey, honey. About a quarter cup of soy sauce. Got about a tablespoon of garlic, freshly minced. Doesn't matter where they were minced or who minced them, but they're minced. Tablespoon full of lemon juice. That is freshly squeezed. Then we're gonna go in with about half a cup of water. What I'm gonna do is mix this all together and let it reduce slowly and it's gonna become a nice little glaze for the chicken. All right, we've let this come together. Everything's nice and uh, melded together. Next thing we're gonna do is add in some lemon slices. We're gonna look to caramelize these in this glaze, and it's gonna work as a wonderful topping to our chicken thighs. Since we have eight thighs cooking, I'm gonna put eight lemon slices in there. We're gonna let this come together. Get ready for the chicken. Guys, the 20 minutes is up. We're gonna go ahead and pull the chicken thighs out of the oven, get them over on the prep table here. And then we're gonna brush on our glaze, nice, sticky, sweet, lemony glaze. And then we're gonna take those candied, reduced down lemon slices and put them on top of each of our chicken thighs. We're gonna go ahead and get it back into the oven, give it about five minutes for that glaze to set up on there real nice, and then we'll be eating, all right? Let's get this back in the oven. Guys, you gotta take a look at this. This is, this is just looking amazing right now. Let's go ahead and get some heat on it. Set that glaze. Good to go. All right, five minutes is up. Let's go ahead and get these bad boys out of here. And that's just looking good. We're gonna put it over on the stove. We'll get ready to plate this up. All right, time to get these plated up. We got a fancy dancy plate. I'm gonna take one at a time over here. That one on. Yeah. And of course, you gotta have a little green onion on there. That's a lot of green onion. All right, y'all, this is the first for the channel. We got Mrs. CJ in the house. Make sure y'all comment down below and say hi to Mrs. CJ. I brought her on for this taste test because this is her jam. Garlic, lemon, pepper, all that goodness. And chicken. And chicken. It's bone in chicken, which she does not like. So I'm gonna have to cut all this off the bone for her. And I've already made that step. I've cut a bite off. So let's try this. Are you ready? All right, and remember, we're on camera right now, so lie. If, you, if it's not good, okay. lie, okay? Okay, good. I got it. Cheers. Right. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's so good. Oh, I mean, it's, is that good enough? Yeah, it's good. And so, it is really good. Yeah, good enough, bye. <laughs> it is really good. Yeah, it's good. I would eat this. You would eat it's this? A, it's edible. You'd be like Josh? It's that's actually good. That's actually okay. Guys, check out the cookie coppin, babe. You'll see what I mean. It's actually it's good. It's actually okay. It's actually good. It is pretty funny when he says that to everything. It is, to everything. Anyway, we got a nice bed of rice. I'm kind of hungry. Mrs. CJ's hungry. Listen, guys, I mean, go ahead and keep eating. If you want... <laughs> If you want the recipe for this, the printable recipe, it'll be down in the link down below to my website. Check it out. If you guys want to become a show producer, like all these awesome people right here that, you know, and she's one of them, right, right? Hit that join button. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. We put a lot of effort into it. It's a very good dish. I hope you guys give it a try. But that's nothing left to say. That's great. Do you know how I end my videos? No, you don't, because you don't watch my videos. Anyhow. I live here. <laughs> all right, guys, we're done. Listen, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week. Even you. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.